I'm just trying to find the damn kick drum. It doesn't... <laughs> Hi, my name's Lee Malcolm, aka Jinjay, uh, and I'm a, I'm a music producer, isn't it? I guess I'm an instrumentalist, and I've come from sort of uh, playing a lot of progressive, experimental, live instrumental music uh, with a band called Vessels. Behind all of that, I've always been making house and techno just myself I just love techno I think it's amazing one second one second I've just realised something this is the best opportunity that I'm going to get to do my own Instagram uh, so I'm I'm going to have no get in get in shot what are you doing yes that is absolutely beautiful oh, I didn't quite get there you go yeah that's absolutely bang on uh, yeah please carry on <laughs> Uh, so with Amplify, I've been working on creating packs, sound packs for Launchpad, Blockswave, and Groovebox. But most of the time, it's like you know, sort of disco, house, funk, techno, downbeat, electronica, hip hop, all that kind of stuff. When making sound packs, I'm kind of I'm really searching because I'm looking for more tones and timbres, and there's time to consider other possibilities. The challenges are for. Uh... So making a house pack is um, making everything sound authentic and I'm lucky that I've got a lot of the uh, gear here that can kind of help you do that and pretty much everything I did on here was uh, was made with hardware. Uh, I record a lot of the hardware and put it through effects uh, as is, uh, so a lot of what's recorded is kind of what's happening with all the gear. Rainbow! <laughs> Uh, live guitar. Oh, that's the rain stick. Oh, a dirty bass. Uh, it's all, it's all made with all this stuff, and it's, it's cool. I mean, it's, the great thing about it is it. It also gives me the chance to uh, explore all this equipment a lot in a lot more depth. Uh, so in this rack here, there's um, a Roland SH32 synthesizer. Uh, there's an old 70s um, Roland Space Echo RE201. A couple of nano verbs, which are kind of old but funky. The Mona DRM One Mark III drum machine, which is beautiful. An old Boss RV One Thousand here, which uh, uh, we found in a, in a tractor shed in in, in Tooting Mendip. We found that in a skip. We found this in, a, in the back of a oh car, in a bin somewhere. I can't remember where it was. And it's it's almost like they're so pants, they're awesome. I don't know. I quite like it. I use it in conjunction with this um, DL4. Just really nice, just for getting quick, quick loops like that. Just, just really quick ideas, uh, dropping things in octave, reversing them, and layering things up. And so you can once. Um, well, I've just deleted what I just did. sit and play all day if I could. Man's gotta work. <laughs> this is a Novation Circuit Monostation. And uh, this is an Arp Odyssey reissue that Korg brought out, uh, which is another beast.
This is a original 1973 Core Gamers 20. This was in my old landlord's basement and it's been my favourite synth ever since. It's been like my go-to for so much stuff. Okay, well, normally that would send triggery. <laughs> Can you give us a second? It's all right, so I've, done, I've clearly unplugged it at some point and done something weird to it. But it's worth it because it sounds mint. <laughs> oh, f off. Right, okay. It's because this isn't playing. Make sure you get all these swear words in, yeah? Yeah. I've got that one tuned to, I think that's a fifth higher. Uh, there's a low pass and a high pass, so you've got very nice sweet spots for adding stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Just finding little... Dirty. Dirty, yeah. As like just getting that going then, it's clearly like, you're alright, just stick a kick drum under that and it's happy day, isn't it? when I started playing the drum kit. After two years of that, my dad said, if you're going to do that, you're going to learn a melodic instrument. So I've kind of just always been picking up instruments. I started playing guitar when I was about 11. And then just kept going, just picking you know, different percussion instruments and string instruments. And, and then rediscovered piano again when I was about 15. So that's kind of informed my approach just 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 sort of having a bit of a handle on quite a few instruments ah it's always the same isn't it when you think you bloody know it and it goes no you don't know me at all mate so anyway i suppose this is probably a good time to talk about the modular uh, well the modular i don't know what it's doing <laughs> i mean it spits out things and you say what the hell how is it even doing that which is really cool. So if we change... That's... That's all from that. The people that make it are just as nerdy about sound as I am. And they're obviously like, oh, I wonder what happens if you have a thing that does this, but also does that, and then can do this, and blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm into that, I'm on board. I've started taking this guy on the road with me and uh, actually having it uh, augmenting my DJ sets because it's kind of uh, receiving sync from USB so it'll get basically whatever I'm running a, a tractor or Ableton it's clocked from that so it'll stay in time. Brilliant. I mean obviously there's an aesthetic quality to it and it's quite exciting because some people go really crazy with them and it's loads of fun. I just love how free it all is and just expressive and it doesn't people just don't seem to care how bizarre it is they're just like oh, i've just made this thing and it looks nuts and it doesn't nuts things do you want it and people go yep and that's great uh, and this whole setup now is about basically being able to make a whole track in just one uh, one setup when you put a series of bits of hardware especially effects especially older effects that have, have got you know like space echoes and old reverbs and stuff like that they just, they they're unruly just, that's part of the fun isn't it that's the source and then i, mean, I don't know where you'd <laughs> i don't even know where you'd use that in a song but uh you could if you wanted to and that's the important thing so. It feels like you're riding a wave. When inspiration hits, for me, sometimes it can be really quite hard. And there's a lot of ideas trying to come through. And for me, it's like a question of capturing them as quickly as possible before the wave dissipates. So it's really important to like just, again, just take that chaotic element or, or just take a chance on things. And it's about just really capturing the raw essence of the, of the idea. Just, just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most important thing is capturing some honest emotion.